So if you uh, if you notice ang pinaka compressed nga side is ang pinaka ibabaw or ang pinaka tense nga side is ang pinaka upo. So pasabot na sa outermost fiber ang maximum nga stress nato. So for this ko an for this uh topic ang ato ang maximum nga bending stress is my experience sa outermost fiber. Okay. So natay uh, if you makita no natay point o dire sa ibabaw this is the set. Yes. Ling risughan si kan sero. Oh sorry wa ko kumatik ko tungso si kita ni si RG. Hi sir, good afternoon. Pag-asa yes. sa tawag na ka-record ba ka? Oo, nagkuan pag-ula. Okay. Katunggan niya ni post ko kay nakalimot ko. And then moto, bago pa wala na record. Any other kuan question? If no may question, pwede naman mo magkuan. I-chat niyo diretso or pagsaba lang mo nga nang chat kay ka open mo ko ka other window and then din ako makita sa permit. Any other nga concern? Lala sa... Lala sa software. Okay. Okay, so, uh, if you notice sa kaning section na to, we have the point O. So, as usual, no, in our physics, in our other engineering subjects, as sa uh, dynamics of rigid bodies, ang point O is the, let's say, our point of origin or the center. So, this is the center of this curve. And then, we have the rho, the radius of curvature. So let's say that at the neutral axis, so again, ang, neut ang neutral axis, di ba, ang ibabaw sa neutral axis experiences compression, ang ubo sa neutral axis experiences tension. The neutral axis is not in tension or in compression. So wala ni siya ni undergo ang ugkuan, tension or compression at the neutral axis. So geometrically, sa ito ang mga analysis for uh, bending stress, if the, it wala indicated na asa ang compression or tension the pit so generally atong ginagamit ni neutral of act uh, neutral axis is ang um, koan neutral axis uh, section or kung rectangle as na sa center so let's say we uh, consider we have points a and b there is uh, ato ang koan uh, section or sa diagram point a and b and then let's say from this point at the neutral axis ni isbog ka downward so, at the direction of the radius. So, ato na siyang tawagun nga y. Y direction. And then, so, can you see y direction is within ni siya, kauban, tumpay rin ni siya sa row na or radius curvature na to. And then, we have also points C and T. So, kaning uh, point T, if makita niyo sa diagram, mo ni siya ang direct point sa tumoy ni y. And then, si C is at some point before the point T. Now, uh, if we consider that uh, the beam's curvature, di ba, so na-stretch man siya, na ay na-stretch sa ubos, and then sa ibaba is na, tani, na compressed. So, actually, kanin siya is, uh, this is a very, koan mo, gano'n siya kang murag gamay, nabitagid tayo. Tungod sa iyang kagamay, mura ni siya gumuform o triangle. No, di ba? So, my question sa uh, uh, dynamics of rigid bodies gani under curvilinear motion. Uh, what happens if ang curve is almost straight? Daw, kuno, unsay pasabot ko na, na. If the curve is almost straight, pasabot na ko kaysa radius, no? That is for, kuan, na, kuno, if na ko kaysa radius, and then the curve is almost straight, pura siya straight line tanawan ang curve. So, same also here. Tungod sa kuan, katako sa kuan, I mean, kagamay sa uh, stretch or sa bending, na siya yung murag form of triangle. We have the row, the A and the B. Diba? So, natay dako nga triangle. Atong composed by, if this is uh, a row, atong O, and we have the row, and then we have the A, and also B. Tapos na yung triangle din nga gamay, So that is triangle B, C, D. So by concept, since uh, this becomes a similar triangle, so unta may i-connect, ah, man ito siya i-connect. 
So uh, if the koan beam undergoes deformation or na bending na siya, na tagi na tawag na strain. Pasabot if there is a strain, there is a difference of koan tibali na deformation na hitabo compared sa original nga position or itsura ni beam or sa isa ka material. Uh, like last time, di ba, na uh, for instance, if you have a steel, and then na mo'y gi-apply nga load pagawas, it uh, this steel will undergo some sort of deformation, mo increase siya if ang force is outside. So, kanin siya dili, and in extend nga part, that is the deformation. Uh, yung simple is delta. Delta nga nga na, or nga nga delta. Or just simply x, or delta x. If you applied a force na pasulod, so expected po nga ito ang deformation ani is pagamay mo siya mo, decrease ang size sa usa ka material. So katong change in size, we call that the deformation. If you divide that to the original length of the material, so that becomes the strain. So strain is mura na siya, uh, it's just the ratio of the deformation to the original length of the quantity specific material. So that is the strain. So applying this principle of strain, there is a similar triangles. So muna yun yung makita diri no, we have diba na ay nakabutan diri nga strain is equal to TD kaning uh, deformation, kaning change nga gamay over the let's say our original length na considered AB. So this is for the horizontal part. Is also equal to the deformation change along the y or the vertical part over the row. So actually, this one is very useful. Na you know, the strain is equal to y over row. Again, row is the radius of curvature. So applying Hooke's law, so di ba nato ibalaw si koan? You have Hooke's law. Ah, ingon siya nga this one. Ingon siya that. Stress is equal to the modulus of elastic, elasticity times the strain. So, solving strain, natin makuha nga that strain is equal to the stress over the modulus of elasticity. So, money siyang natin, strain is equal to sigma over E. So, again, E is the modulus of elasticity. In SI units, that is... Uh, gigapascal yung unit. So, similar sila ni stress dia po. And then, so, ano na to ni si strain? So, si strain, so, nata is strain nga equation here, that is y over rho. Tapos, tayo sa equation din ni strain, that is sigma over rho, ah, sorry, sigma over equal, or over e, that is the stress over the elasticity. So, ato na siyang maritite in this form. Muna siyang sigma over E or the stress over the elasticity, modulus of elastic, elasticity, is just equal to the change or the deformation y. So, kaning y dili is the deformation over, so ang y is, we call that the deformation or, or also the distance from the neutral axis over the radius of curvature r. So, from this equation, na din tay formula for stress so ato lang na siyang i-cross si e we have y over rho is e at over rho times the modulus of elasticity so ito yung pasabotan eh so naging hindi rin nga stress di ay is proportional to the distance y pasabot masamot ka magkalayo sa neutral axis masamot ka masamot magkadako ang imuang stress so mo itong giging ganihan nga Naadri sa kinatum yan, dili sa compressed side, ang maximum nga uh, stress or bending stress. And then, napo dili ang kinatum yan sa tension or sa tensile part, ang maximum nga uh, stress. So, muna siya ang sigma is equal to y over rho e. So, again, since sigma is the symbol for stress and then we are talking for the bending stress. So, pwede po na siya masulat na bending stress. is equal to the y over rho times the modulus of elasticity. Again, y is the distance from the neutral axis, pagawas, 
until the outermost fiber. And rho is the radius of curvature and is or modulus of elasticity. Okay, for the next one, uh, if you cut, so di ba naman tape beam, nag undergo siya of stress. So if you cut that part of the beam na atay section nga makuha, di ba? So diri sa tunga, by geometry, na sa tunga ang neutral axis. So this part is, uh, kuasa neutral axis, it doesn't undergo compression, doesn't also undergo tension. Munang gitaw siya neutral axis, no? In real life, wala gito ni always sa tunga ang neutral axis. Pwede nga na na siya sa ibabaw kaayo, apart. So, in real life, pwede man good nga mag-apply. If mag-apply ka glowed, na dali sa ibabaw ang uh, neutral axis. Masabutan na ang imuang gi-apply nga load, gamay ra nga compression ang sa ibabaw, and then mas grabe ang compression, ay uh, sorry, tension sa lower nga part. So this is tension ang ubos, di ba? And then sa ibabaw is compression. So more likely, grabe nga bending sa koan sa beam. And then since ang ato ang beam is made of concrete, di ba? Generally atong uh, beam is made in concrete. And you know that property of the concrete is brittle. When gani mo brittle, si concrete is, if it, it undergoes tension, puak na siya. But, tumo na siyang always nga, nila nyo with uh, concrete. Concrete is weak in tension, but very strong in compression. So, sama sa ang ganyan, di ba, if you applied load high nga mas nako-nako, pwede mo saka si ano, neutral axis, pwede po na siya mo naog, depende sa uh, available nga support o applied the load. So, for instance, akong example is ni saka si neutral axis, and then kaning nga part diri, sa iba ba, that is the compression side, and then mas nako si tensile nga side. So, what will happen if mas nako si tensile nga side, and then, so, actually mo break ang diri nga part sa beam, and then eventually it will fail. Mali na po on sa inyong higher years for reinforced concrete design na ginabutang diri nga steel bars. To cater the tensile stress experience on the lower part of the beam. So, tumama na siya ang steel. That is the property of the steel that it is very strong in tension the steel. So, siya may mong cater sa uh, tensile part. Okay, moving on the motor sa in to ano in in design so ako lang to explain nga neutral axis it may change but generally in this problem nga to ang ginatubang is for this subject ina assume nga nasa centroid si neutral axis so na just nga so uh, shown here this is the section so diri that is the section of the beam the cross section. And then, kung imo na siyang ipaside, so this this one, the second one here, that is like the side view of the section. So, kani siya nga section sa beam, kani cross section, di ba? Ang iyang naong kaka-experience o kinatawag na to o stress. So, diri sa outermost na side, sa ang ipakita at diri, this is the stress uh, diagram. Diba na tayo? We have the shear diagram, we have the moment diagram. This one is the stress diagram. It shows the distribution of the stress throughout this section of the beam. So again, inyo makita sa kinibaba sa stress diagram, that is the maximum stress or the maximum bending stress. Ito yung yapon sa kubos. So this is like a distributed Pura ni siyang koan, uniformly distributed, sorry, not uniformly distributed, but uniformly varying loads. But opposite ilang direction, ani. So, actually, this one, this forms a couple. So, let's say on this uh, face of the koan of the beam, there, we have a differential area. So, kung ganito ang differential area, area may change. So, wala siya yung fix nga ano, nga area. So, may mga differential area. I consider na ito ng area na possible mag-act kira ang 
stress. Let's say on this compression side. So if we have an area, and then kusabot natay differential force or force ni kaak on that side. We have by we have the symbol T F for the differential force. Now, kaning location ni differential force from the neutral axis, ato nang tawagon o Y. Ato gingo na ko ganiha. So, diba? So, we have T, Y. And then, unsa may naan eh. So, the force acting on the area. So, palang litan, diba? Dari, we have a triangular, yeah, uniformly, varying load. And then, ang tinatakaan niya nga force is FP. So, ang force nga gaag is just equal to the force, uh, this one, times the area naman na siya. Yeah. So, we have here the differential force is equal to the bending stress times the differential area. And also, napunta yung formula, di ba nga, stress is equal to force over area so, force is just equal to stress times the area. And then, if you have a differential force, because force may change, if area is changing. You have DF is equal to depending stress times the differential area. And then, natay yung sa formula, di ba, with uh, bending stress. We have bending stress is also equal to Y over rho times the modulus of elasticity katong ipakita na continue kaniya so substituting this value of the bending stress nga y over rho times e so we will have this y over rho times the elasticity times the differential area and then since e since the modulus of elastic, elasticity e is constant and the rho or radius of curvature is constant can you see y is not constant. It is it is varying. Diba? Eh, pwede man nga what if diri ko sa iba pa magpuha. So, lahat akong value nga sa y. Or what if diri sa obos na pit na force ang kaon. So, lahat ito ang value sa y. So, y is uh, varying. So, we will have a formula that the differential force is equal to the modulus of elasticity over rho times y times the A. Next, kung saan man nato ni S na siya, i-apply. So, ang beams undergoes, natin inatawag na internal couple or the moment. This one, moment. So, so what? So, may kuan. Connection. So, ang moment is what causes the beam to bend. So, mo ni siya ang causes sa kuan. O saan ni siya sa nakakos? Natin inatawag na bending stress. So, Actually, moment is just the integral of the derivative of the moment. No? So, ano rin na siya? Para rin sa kuwan, di ba, sa dx. Dx, integral of dx is equal to x. So, kanin, mura na siya kipaatras, di ba? Uh, integral of dm is just the moment. Mura rin yung nga na story, ha? So, ato lang siyang kipaatras, no? That the moment is equal to the integral of the differential moment. And then, kabalo man tali ba? Unsa man ang moment? Moment is the force times the distance. So, ang force man nato is differential force times the distance y. So, diri sa iya ha, iya lang ni kisulat diri sa so, ytf. So, if ato na i-proper uksulat, we will have that, we will have koan. m is equal to the integral of y times differential na df. And then, naman tinasolve diri nga df, which is equal to kani, E over rho times Y dA. So, ito na yung substitute with DF, we have, will have Y times the modulus of elasticity, elasticity over the radius of curvature times Y dA. So, ito yung makuha din din, ang moment is just equal to, so di ba in uh, integration, ipagawas na itong talang constant, we have E over rho times the integral of Y squared times dA. If you notice on this side, this is the what? This is the centroidal moment of inertia. So, mana diba equals to y squared A, area times the square of the y. That is the centroidal moment of 
inner siya. So, sa ato pa, so we can rewrite the moment equation into m is equal to e over rho times i. Or simply, rho is equal to ei over the moment. So e again is the modulus of elasticity, i is the centroidal moment of inertia, and m is the uh, bending moment. So nga nung ato man siyang write in terms of rho, kaya dili mo ganito always magamit si rho, di ba? Kung mag-solve ta uh, sa shear and moment diagram, dili mo na ito ginagamit. We, have, we don't have the rho, but we have we can always have the bending moment. And then, si inertia, can you see the moment of inertia? It, is, it can be always calculated by the section of the beam. And then, si elasticity, at times, it is given. So, si rho is panagtaragit condition na ito kapit. So, these are the relationship ni rho and then ni moment. So, if you remember, we have a formula, di ba nga, bending stress is equal to, so ganito, E over rho times y. Uh, sorry, yeah. E over rho times y. And then, at a value ni rho, na ei over m, so ato lang na substitute, we have ey over, ang value ni rho, na ei over m. So, this is just the numerator times the reciprocal of the denominator. So, may mo na siyang m over ei. So, pwede na natin yung matamataon diretso. So, makansal si e, elasticity, so, mabili na lang din sa ito is that the bending stress di is equal to the bending moment times the distance y from the neutral axis over i. So, again, if, if we have a beam and then this is the neutral axis theory, so, ang y again is ang distance anywhere from the neutral axis. Now, ang sari pasabot sa, ang sari may pasabot ani agan eh, as mentioned earlier, nga mas magkadako ang y pasabot, mas magkadako ang bending stress. So, muna yun nga ito, ang maximum nga bending stress is makita na to sa outermost fiber. Atong simple ana is C. This is the distance from the neutral axis to the outermost fiber. Fiber. So, rin itong atong na-conclude that the maximum bending moment di is equal to mc over i. So, mawala niya siya. So, na natin tulog ka equation ni ano no, bending uh, moment. So, to, eh, we have the e over rho times y. We also have the second one, mc over i. So, itake natin po ninyo kay at times magamit man natin yung isa ka formula. Okay. So, mo siya ang derivation. So, medyo taas-taas, no? Next is, last na lang ninyo kung ang derivation na to is, we have the section modulus. So, saan yung section modulus? And yung section modulus, no, yung symbol ana is just letter S, that is just equal to I over D. So, di ba, atong pending moment is equal to MC over I, di ba? So, kung imo na ipanaog si C, that is equal to M over I over C. So, if yung tanawon, pareha sila, huwag itsura, then, kung sa sa itong formula ni bending moment, is just, is that, uh, bending moment is equal to M over the section modulo. So, generally, sa market, ang ginahatag nila nga kuan, property for different type of material, let's say for the steel is, section modulus or kaning S. At times, uh, ginahatag po nila is central moment of inertia. So, if the uh, central, central moment of inertia ay in uh, SI, that is millimeter to the fourth, or if in the imperial units or the English units, yung uh, unit is inch to the fourth. So, section modulus, I over C mo na siya. So, that is millimeter cube, cubic millimeter or cubic inch in the English
So, na na dito ay tulog ka, iman ang nga formula for bending stress. So, first one, we have the bending stress is equal to the modulus of elasticity over the radius of curvature times the y. Atong location from the neutral axis. Next, other uh, formula ni uh, bending stress is we have the my over i, or if the maximum bending stress ang atong i consider, that is mc over i. And then the third one, ay uh, yung formula, it is also the max uh, for the maximum bending stress kato m over So far, na get sila. I think. Okay, so moving on, let's uh, have our first sample. And in first sample na to is just the problem that I give you earlier for the quiz para makuha ninyo. So, we have a given here. Uh, this is a cantilever beam. So, ang dimension sa beam is 50 mm wide by 150 mm high. So, sa ito pa, ang width niya is 50 mm, this one. And then, ang height niya is 150 mm. Then, ang length sa beam is 6 m long. It carries a load that varies uniformly from 0 at the end so that's why it is zero here from the end, uh, from zero at the free end. So this side, we call this the free end, the free end. And, this, and then this side, we call it the fixed end. So it varies from zero at the free end to 1,000 newton per meter at the wall. So we were asked we, first, the magnitude and location of the maximum structural stress. Second, the type and magnitude of the stress, the fiber 20 millimeters from the type of the beam at the section 2 meters from the end. So, ang first is ang ipangay sa so maximum na stress. Ang second is the stress at the, push at the location na 20 millimeters from the top of the beam. So, ang first na to buhaton is that say given, so we have a load, we also have the length, we also have the width and the height of the beam. So, judging from this given, we have the uh, width. So, ang symbol na to, width, width is P. Mwanda na nito na ito na symbol pag-abotin nyo all parts here in first complete phone nyo. So, the height of the beam is 150 millimeters. Length of the beam is 6 meters long. And then, at a uh, uniformly varying load na 1,000 newton millimeter per millimeter. So, determine the maximum, uh, the magnitude and location of the maximum. So, this is a fixed beam. This is a cantilever beam. So, as ang location ni maximum flexural stress. So, the location of the maximum flexural stress, ito ganito kong giingon, uh, location of the maximum flexural stress as per section is, kaning C, this is the location from the neutral axis, paingon sa outermost fiber. So, ang height man niya is 150 millimeters, and then our neutral axis is na sa tunga by symmetry. Yes, Koan, Eljan. Payong. Hello. Nag-raise mo ito ka.
तो पावसाला मिळत होता Okay, so this is a cantilever beam, and then you can solve for the maximum moment. Actually, you can solve for the maximum moment. Ah, since this is already a cantilever beam, so asa bot ang maximum moment na to is na asa support. Okay, mo kaniyang side dress sa support, kamo yung garis sa moment. Di ba? If you remember at the support, we have a reaction here. Let's say a vertical reaction. And then we also have a moment. Let's say the free end side is A, and then the fixed end side is B. So we have a reaction here at B, Y, and then we also have a moment at B. So, as about the maximum moment, I could delay as per location. Aside on C is equal to 75 millimeters from the neutral axis, Nasha at X is equal to 6 meters. So, solving the moment. The maximum bending moment that is just equal to one half times uh, the length base times the height of the uniformly varying load that is one thousand newton per meter times its koan the next centroid of the of this force of this uh, uniformly varying force. So uh, we know that the resultant force of the of any varying loads kaya up sa centroid so centroid ani this is one third of the length so times one third of the length of the beam or of the load which is six meters so natin tayo maximum bending moment kaya equal ni So, natin yung load na 6,000 newton meter. So, this is our maximum moment. Next, we can have our C. Our C is 75 millimeter. And then, nato pa, pwede din nato ko. From the, in this problem, ang formula nga gamito nato for bending stress, or the maximum bending stress, is equal to MC over I. So we already have the M, we already have the C. Next is our I or the centripetal moment of the shock. Since this is a rectangle, can you know, memorize, you familiarize? The centripetal moment of inertia of the rectangle is just equal to 1 over 12 times BH cube. We have 1 over 12 times the base, which is equal to 50 millimeters, times the height, which is equal to 150 millimeters cube. Ang tema ko ang sigurado mo inertia is equal to fourteen million sixty two thousand five hundred millimeters to the fourth. Next, you already have all the values. Then we can already solve for the bending stress. So FB, so ma uh, maximum bending stress. It's just equal to mc over i. So at the moment again, that is six thousand newton meter. So dapat ato ang unit for koan na tong gamito nila is that dapat na unity. So if you notice, ang ato ng m is newton meter, ato ng c is seventy five millimeters, and then our inertia is fourteen million. 62,500 millimeter to the fourth. So, na, dili sila united. Na, meter and then naka millimeter. So, to get rid of the meter, so, ato lang na siya multiply of 1,000 millimeter per 1 meter. So, makonvert na din yung meter into millimeter. So, ato maximum na bending stress is equal to That is so uh, thirty-two. So atong namantay nyo to mabilin so millimeter. 
So, nine doka millimeters sa ibabaw and then millimeter to the first of both that is millimeter squared. So, we have 32 newton over millimeter squared. And we know that the newton millimeters per millimeter per square millimeter just equal to 32 megapascal. Therefore, atong maximum na bending uh, stress is 32 megapascal. Next, ang ipangaya sa to is the magnitude of the stress in a fiber 20 millimeters from the top of the beam at section 2 meters from the BF. Next, we pangay sa toa is the bending stress at x is equal to 2 meters and then located at 20 millimeters from the top of the beam. Ito naman yun na po. So, same yan po, no? Kaan na itong moment? Kaan na itong uh, C? Uh, sorry, Y na niya. Y. And then, naan naman tay I. So, kaning uh, I na to this is already 14 million 62,500 millimeters to the fourth. Ang moment, sa ano kapakwa ni moment? So, di ba by moving loads, if yun yung madumduman, pinakat na to ang beam, ikutang na to, ikat na to at 2 meters. This is already 2 meters. Wala lang takabalo kung pila ni no. Pila ni si Utan na to si Omega na. Pero mabala na to na si Omega. So by simple ratio and proportion. So mura man siya dua ka similar triangle. Ratio and proportion na. We have Omega over 2 meters. Is equal to 1,000. 1,000 Newton meter over 6 meters. So Omega is equal to. 1,000 over 3. So, let's say 1,000 over 3 Newton per meter. So, this is equal to 1,000 over 3 Newton per meter. So, let's so na itong moment. Our moment at x equal to meters is just equal to that is 1 half times 2 meters base times height, 1,000 over 3 newton per meter, times, again, ga-act ga sa 1 third, diba? This is the force, ga-act sa 1 third sa length, or 2 meter. So that is times uh, 1 third of 2 meter. Ano natin mo po ang moment equals to Two thousand over nine. Two thousand over nine newton meter. Pwede na po nato i-convert nida ng meter dito into millimeter by multiplying one thousand millimeter per one meter. So we have a moment is equal to it is two million over nine newton millimeter. na na moment. Next is Y. So, si Y is ang distance niya from the neutral axis. Diba? So, ang beam, we have a rectangular beam. And then, ang width niya is 50 millimeters. Height then niya is 150 millimeters. Ang katunga, we have here the neutral axis. 
And then, ingon nyo nga, 20 millimeters from the top. So, nata 20 millimeters diri. So, atong y gani is from the neutral axis pagawas. So, from y, from the neutral axis to the yes, 20 millimeters, so that is just equal to 75 millimeters minus 20 millimeters. Plus about atong y is 55 millimeters. So, our y is just 55 millimeters. So, na to si Kuan. Since our, all our Kuan, ano sa equation is already here. So, ato masal na si stress. My over I. Which is equal to, so ato moment is 2 million over 9 newton millimeter times atong Y is 55 millimeters all over the central moment of inertia is equal to 14 million 62,500 millimeter to the fourth. Uh, bending stress at the at x is equal to 2 meters and 20 millimeters and then at 20 millimeters below the top of the beam is equal to zero point eight six nine one three five megapascal. So kung iyan yung gani, ang megapascal is wala lang siya ni sobra og 1, then you can transform the, these values into kilopascal. So this is equal to 869.135 kilopascal. This is our bending stress at 2 meters from the end support and 20 millimeters from the top of the beam. So, medyo dali na siya, no? Our maximum, again, is 32 megapascal. And then, at x is equal to 2 meters and 20 millimeters from the top, our bending stress is 869.25 kilopascal. Your next uh, problem is itong koan, problem number 2 ninyo sa yung third piece. So, last time, ito ang aning, sample is a Deliver beam. This one is a simply supported beam. A simply supported beam two inches wide by four inches high and twelve feet long is subjected to a concentrated load two thousand pounds at a point three feet from one of the support. So we were asked the maximum fiber stress. So usap po niya sa term na to no, for bending. Uh, fiber, maximum fiber stress is atong ang si nato is ang length niya is from the neutral axis to the outermost fiber. And also the stress in a fiber located 0 0.5 inches 0 0.5 inch from the top of the beam at mid-span. So more or less, same learning uh, approach dito, no? So, uh, when, so last time, di ba, sa kung sa bending stress moment, tumagay dito importantihan. If cantilever moment, pwede naman to i-cantilever diretsyo. But, kung ano ito, kung ano ito yung moment, kaya kabalo mo ito, maximum moment is nasa cantilever support. This one, this is a simply supported na beam. And then, natay applied load na 2,000 pounds. So, isa lang ito applied load. So, from this one, we can simply assume na ang maximum moment is nagyot under sa load na 2,000 pounds. Diba, if makita ninyo, if wata ninyo yung current moment diagram, Kani yung ipakita diri this is the shear and moment diagram. This is the shear diagram and this is the moment diagram. Ano yung makita nga at shear uh, sa moment diagram ang maximum nga moment is located beneath the 2000 pound force. Kasi so, may buhaton na to ani para mas padali yung life. So if mura ra ni siya sa pareha sa moving load siya po no. First is you get the reaction so, if you saw moment at the action 2 is equal to 0 and then clockwise moment is positive, so we will have reaction 1 times 12 feet is equal to 2,000 pounds times 9 feet and then 
makakuha tag reaction 1 nga equal ni 1,500 pounds. So this is in imperial or English unit. So dapat uniform ang inyo ang uh, forces. So pwede rin siyang atong kaon gindi rin no? It's just the reaction 1. So di na mo mag uh, kuha, kuha o di na mo mag bring doing share in moment diagram. Next is Diba sa ito ang uh, moving loads para makuha ni mong moment under uh, sa ito? Moment under axle load 1, axle load 2 kaya imuman itong tungaon. So, diri ito rin na po itong ikat ang diri nga section para mas dali. Diri mo mag-drawing drawing. So, you have reaction 1 which is equal to 1,500 pounds and then at this point we have 2,000 pounds. So this is the cut section, and then you get the moment. Uh, distance the reaction 1, paying on 2,000 pounds, that is 3 feet. So dali na kayo, uh, moment at this, uh, at the maximum moment is equal to 1,500 pounds times 3 feet. So that is equal to 4,500 pounds foot. Pound foot foot ang ato ang unit ni moment. Next is the T, MC over I, diba? So, if we have the beam, so natin beam 3, 2 inches wide, 4 inches height. So, klaro na nga ang sina, 2 is 2 inches. The distance from the neutral axis to the outermost fiber. So, we have C is equal to 2 inches. Next is ang I. The total moment of inertia na to is just equal to 1 over 12 times pH cube. So, B na to is 2, inch, 2 inches and then H is 4 inches cube. So, I is equal to 32 over 3. 32 over 3 unit na to is inch to the fourth. Having already all the values. We can solve for the maximum bending stress, which is equal to MC over I. MC over I is equal to 4,500 pound foot times C, 2 inch, 2 inches, over 32 over 3 inch to the fourth. If you notice, the units is not koano, united na ay naka-feet, na apoy naka-inches. So, si feet ato na i-change. So, if you multiply the location with 12 inches per 1 foot. So, makansa si foot. And then, we have inch squared here. Sa iba pa, kanil ubos, may mo nalang ng inch squared. So, our maximum bending stress is Ten thousand one hundred twenty-five. So, ang mapili na to is pounds per square inch, or so maximum bending stress is equal to ten thousand one hundred twenty-five psi. Psi is the unit of stress in the imperial or the English system. Next, so to ipangay sa to ah, the stress. We have the stress in the fiber located 0 0.5 inches from the top of the beam at mid span. Okay. So, to? at mid span. So, to x and a, so that is 12 feet. So, at mid span, that is 6 feet. And then, 0 0.5 inches inch from the top of the beam from the top of the beam Bukan pa tag moment balik moment and then y 
And then itong I is just constant. No? Okay, constant naman yung shape throughout length. So itong 32 over 3 inch to the fourth. Okay. So same lagi po nga concept no. Sa so, katong moving loads gani. Putlo ninyo at mid span. So na tayo reaction dili. R1 na to is 2,500 pounds. And let's say this is the mid span. Pani mo na to siya moment. And then dili na tayo. 2,000 pounds di ba? 2,000 pounds is 3 feet. From reaction 1. Dato pa kay 6 feet mani sila tanan. Dato pa 3 feet po sa dirito pita. Reaction 1 that is 6 feet from the cut section. Dali na. Moment is just equal to 1,500. Reaction 1 times distance niya nga 6 feet minus 2,000 pounds times 3 feet. At the moment at distance or at mid span is just equal to 1,500 times 6. 2,000 times 3. 3,000 pound foot. Then since nakita naman ninyo nga inch, uh, inches ang ato ang unit na gamiton for koan, stress, so ato na i-convert ang foot into inches. So pwede na mo mamultiply down to the 12 inch per foot. At the moment is 3,000 times 12 inch per foot that is 36,000 pound inch. Next, i-determine na to is si Y. Y. This is the one shiny. Y, this is the rest to shore. So, itong wide is 2 inches. Itong height is 4 inches. And then, we have the natural axis na tunga. So, ito pa na tunga. And then, 0.5 inch daw from the top. From the top, inaog ka 0.5 inch. So, itong Y is from the neutral axis. Pahingon sa, pasa ito ng 0.5 inch. So, that is 2 inches mo siya. And then, minus 0.5. So, that is 1.5 inch. So, itong uh, Y DI is 1.5 inches. And then our moment is 36,000 pounds. Pounds in. So, complete to ng unknowns. Then we can start solving for the bending stress at the mid span. So, that is equal to MY over I. Equal to 36,000 pounds inch times Y. 1.5 inch over 32 over 3 inch to the fourth. That is 5,000 62.5 PSI. Get to the the GCR answer the plus from there.
Sige, kanina po. Uh, high, high strength steel bend to 20mm wide by 0.80mm thick runs over full 600mm in diameter. What maximum structural stress is developed? What minimum diameter full lace can be used without exceeding a structural stress of 400 megapascal? Assume that the modulus of elasticity, elasticity is 200 gigapascal. Dari palang daan noon, na ano tayo dimension ni beam or ni kaning given ng band na to, which is 20 millimeters wide and 0.8 millimeters thick. So in yung this one. And then yung yata na diameter, 600. Dali. 600 mm ang diameter. So, yung radius di ay, row na to is 300 mm. And then, ito pa other given. Other given na to is 200 gigapascal. If you write the given, makita ninyo kung punta nga formula sa pending stress to ang gamiton. So, diba na tayo tulog ka uh, uh, formula for pending stress? We have uh, pending stress is equal to MT over I, we also have the M over S. Put the isa we have the E over rho Y. So in this problem, nyo makita, we have the rho, we also have E, and we have Y. Tato pa, yung gamitong nga equation is this one. Dali na kayo siya. Stress na to is equal to E. So E is 200 gigapascal. So that is times 10 to the 3 megapascal times Y na to, pila tong Y. So again, Y na to is from the uh, neutral axis pa sa outermost fiber. So ang yatag sa to is rectangular na yung ane. So ang height niya is 0 0.80 millimeters. And then we have our neutral axis sa tunga. Ito ang y or ang c na to is sa tunga lang. That is 0 0.4 millimeters. Ito ang y or c3. So maximum stress niya is at uppermost fiber man. 2.4 millimeters. Over the row. Row na to is 300 millimeters. So, wanna take conversion na nino? Kika ni millimeters sa ubos, makantal mo sa millimeters sa iba batteries mo. So, we have a maximum bending stress automatically equal to two hundred sixty-six point six six seven megapascal. Ano nista? Next is, pila daw ang minimum diameter daw sa full lace. Sa full lace without exceeding, exceeding. So, second na to is, maximum diameter daw sa full lace without exceeding structural stress. So, FB is equal to 400 megapascal. So, dali, lagi pun question, no? Same formula. FB is equal to, ila to? E over rho Y. So, we have the radius of curvature rho. And, kabalo mo tanga, ang diameter is equal to 2 times the rho. So, so rho na to na, we have rho is equal to E Y over the structural uh, stress. So, na tayo 200 times 10 to the 3 megapascal times y na to, 0 0.40 millimeters over structural stress na 400 megapascal. Makansal ang megapascal at ay makuha nga rho is equal to 200 millimeters. Since diameter man ang ipangita, so times 2 lang na 
Therefore, itong maximum na diameter of the pulley is 400 millimeters. Wala na, sir. Okay, for our last sample sa so stresses in beam, so natay yung ka flat steel bar, no? And then, yung width is 1 inch, and then the thickness is 1 fourth inch. Then, yung length is 40 inches long. So, you, if you write the given, we have the width is equal to 1 inch, height is 1 fourth inch, then uh, the length is 40 inches long. And then, it is bent by couples applied at the ends. Again, on couples, this is the bending moment. No? So, uh, couples happens when there are two forces of the same magnitude but uh, acts at opposite direction. So, muna siya. And then, ito pina. As the midpoint, so, nada yung deflection at the midpoint, delta is 1.0 inch. And then, other given is the modulus of elasticity, 29 times 10 to the 6 PSI. Pila daw ang stress in the bar and the magnitude of the couple. So, ang ipangita sa to is, stress the bar, this is the, I think this is the maximum stress, and then the magnitude of the couple or the moment. Okay, na po. We have the E, we have the deflection. Tapos yung row din nung nagipakita sa to ah. If inyong tanawon sa drawing, na tayo ma-form ka, uh, we have, uh, we can form a triangle din. So this is the row, kanyang green. Kanyang red, this is just Row minus one. The spinning blue. Ako i apply this one this time. This is just 20 feet. You want a triangle? So from this one, we can solve the value of the row using Pythagorean theorem. No more than a squared plus b squared is equal to b squared. So let's see, atong a squared is row minus one squared. Plus, another one, we have 20 feet. Oh, no, no. That is 20 inches. Yeah, 20 inches squared. Sigo to. Ang sina to is the row squared. So, there is a side. We have row squared minus 2 row plus 1 plus 400 is equal to row squared. Makan so si row sa gawas. So, we are left with negative 2 row plus 401 equal to 0. Transpose 0, we have 2 row is equal to 401 divided by 2. Then, we have row is equal to 200.5 inches. So, not a row. We have E. Wala tayo, 
moment. So we have we have formula di ba nga F P is equal to E over rho y. Natay rho, natay e. And then atong y is just the t. That is 1 half of 1 14. Which is equal to 1 8. Inch. Inch. Ato pa atong uh, maximum bending stress is equal to 29 times 10 to the 6 psi. Times 1 over 8 inch. All over atong radius of curvature equal to 200.5 inches. Our maximum bending stress is just equal to 10 times 10 to the 6 divided by 8 times 2.5. Yes, I. Next is the maximum moment. Ito na ito pagkua ni maximum moment. So sa pinakauna pa lang daan dito, we have a relationship with the moment. Ito ay formula ni moment nga. Uh, we have here that the moment is just equal to EI over rho. Actually, si moment, pwede lang yung punya ninyo kaon sa MC over I. So from FP is equal to MC over I. And then we have the moment is equal to the stress times the central moment of inertia over the C. So stress na to, bending stress is equal to 18,079.8005 PSI times the total moment of inertia na to is 1 over 12. Atong base is 1 inch. Height cube is Height na to is 114 cube all over C. So, C ganin na to is 18 in. From there, natin makuha nga 18,079.8005 times 1 over 12 times 114 cube over 18. Itong moment is 188.331 pound in. Do you have any questions or clarifications?
Abu Kai Carol Monique. Wala. Alain Joshua Acero. Absent. Rizel Aklan, Nathaniel Alonso, Rex Nino Banto, Rodeline Faith Bayawa, Jikaina Bigafria, Justin Briggs Behek, Jisdado Branya, and so forth. Kapuyan Georgian, Kaubanan Rose, Dondon Grizzle Delight, D. Zisine, Gulben John Lester, Hitotwani Aurami Mark, Amero Ron Melchizedek, Isaiah Emiliana Lahayon, Lowy Jim. Lonzon. Sir, present. Maka Laika Shail. Makmod Hakima. Mingo Sherlyn May. Navarro Aljon Margatinet. Ngoho Mark Joan. Aklarit Alvin. Patal Maria Aloisa, Ratilia Jones, Rehensia Russell Ray, Reyes Angeline Labadan, Jupilanas Jobert Pilarmino, Takastakas Jet Charles, Villaraza Neva Clare, Present, sir. Yamo Genevieve Aransit, Yusuf Fatma Navella, Present, sir. Kasi wala na tawag sa O. Okay na? Okay, let's proceed with uh, section 2P. Caballero Maria Carmela. 